All right, big day. What is going on? Finally, pre-ordered these the day they released the pre-order. I don't even remember when that was, months ago, but today they're here. Um, man, I'm very excited. This is the Speedland GS PGH Pisga uh, Cam Haynes signature shoe from Speedland. So super excited to get these. My uh, pair of Solomon Ultra 3s are shot. They're screwed. So I was very ready for a new pair of shoes. Glad these came because almost had to buy a new pair. Um, but hey, let's pop these things open. I guess I'm not going to need the knife because we got a little perforation here. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Moment of truth. Let's go. Woo! So, first, what do we got? Bunch of shit in here. Making the best gear even better. So this is a little BOA insert, BOA Speedland. I love shoes that have the BOA. Not sure how you guys feel about them, but this is like that new type of BOA where you can dial it in and you can also dial it out. So um, it's not just like a pull and release situation anymore. You can actually dial these back. So 100 milers, swelling feet. This is gonna be great. And ooh, the nice, the clean, little keep hammering paper and bam. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's toss that aside and take a look. So <clears throat> first impression, that's a lot of foam. Man, I don't love speed goats. Um, I don't love many shoes that have a huge stack height, so I'm really hoping that, uh, that this doesn't feel like I'm standing on top of something super tall like a speed goat feels, because I won't love that. Um, but this upper, this looks fantastic. So this is super similar to the upper on the Solomon Ultra 3 that I've been wearing for the last two seasons. All my 100 milers, all my races were in that shoe. Um, and they have this sock upper, which I really, really like. Great for keeping rocks out, great for comfort. I mean, I never have blisters in those shoes. So um, yeah, hoping these feel similar on the foot. Now I'm noticing too, this seems to be a lot wider than the Ultra 3. Um, sure that'll take some getting used to. Uh, they got the little boa dial thing here, but yeah, so you can crank these in and then boom, you crank those out. That is, man, that's awesome. That is something that I've definitely needed. So why I like the boa? I'm in Utah. It's cold all the time. And if you ever try to tie your laces or do anything dexterous, uh, while your hands are cold up in the mountains, it's nearly impossible. So this BOA system is gonna be great for that. That's why I like the BOA. Um, love the colorway. Love the, the teal with the, you know, the blood going along here because man, lately with all the falls I've been taking, I've been bleeding a lot. So this will go right along with my look. Um, yeah, let's take a closer look. So <clears throat> the GSPGH, um, yeah, definitely feels a lot different on the foot than the Solomons that I'm used to. Um, man, I don't know, first impressions, there's a couple things I love, there's a couple things I like, and there's a couple things I'm worried about. So first off, when I had to, you know, this is a nine. I, I got a size nine, men's nine, and when I tightened it all the way down, you can see there's some scrunching that happens with this upper fabric. Um, 
yeah, in my experience, that can be an issue. Um, however, I liked the way the rocker feels. Um, the drop's good for me, super comfortable. Um, it is a lot wider, so definitely going to have to crank these down for the downhills. Um, yeah, and then uh, the grip, the Michelin grip, I'm, I'm a fan. I think I'm really gonna like this, looks super durable, not too much rubber, um, but plenty to protect you from all the trials on the trails, guys. So yeah, I think I'm gonna like the shoe, time will tell. I'm definitely gonna be putting these through the ringer. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna hit the trails with them for sure, and then Saturday, long run time, man, so we're gonna get probably 18, 20 miles on these things um, on Saturday. So yeah, within the first week, I will have these easily over 50 miles. Um, so I'll be doing like a full review once I get a chance to run in them. So this is obviously just the unboxing, first impressions. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna like them. I, I love the colorway, you know, Cam Haynes, he's the reason that uh, I've even ran any of these 100 milers and ultra marathons and shoot the bow and do a bunch of the things that have become a major part of my lifestyle. So um, whether I like these or not, <clears throat> just wanted to support Cam. So if I don't love these, I'll be 100% honest for sure. And I'll let you guys know um, because obviously you'll either see me in a second pair of these or back in the Solomon Ultra 3s because as far as I'm concerned, that's the greatest trail shoe ever made. So um, if these don't live up, we're going back to the Solomons and uh, yeah, we'll keep hitting these 100 milers in whatever feels best because that's really um, the most important thing. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people wearing Hoka's out there probably hate them. A lot of people wearing Ultras probably hate them. Uh, I hear it all the time. Um, those shoes last like 200 miles they feel like shit the whole time and yeah so i really don't understand why people put themselves through all that torture they should just go get a solomon or maybe this maybe this all right so let's put the shoes aside as exciting as those are uh this is another <clears throat> box that i got so I have no sponsors, no endorsements. I'm not an ambassador for anybody. Um, but I guess I am because this company, uh, this is Muse Mushrooms. They were kind enough to send me this box. I know that most of you understand why this page is called Silly Runner. Um, if you don't, it's because uh, I love taking mushrooms. So this company they specialize in helping with microdosing and also macrodosing so we're going to open this box another time so if you're interested at all in microdosing mushrooms uh, psychedelic mushrooms then make sure you come back make sure you hit that like hit the subscribe and be around for when i do this unboxing um, because i do think there's a lot of you out there who are curious uh, how much am I running on mushrooms? How much do I take? How much should you take? Uh, we'll go over all that. Not here, not today, but next time we'll open this box. So just for now, thank you to Muse for actually sending me this on the house. Um, and I'm very excited to break into this because I have tried some of their products, but there is, I believe, some new, uh, new to me goodies in here. And we'll go through that next time. So like I said, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.